hello everyone so in this video i'm going to show you how i am controlling vfd by using arduino and labview okay so here's my hardware structure now let's understand its wiring first okay so here's my arduino board and my arduino is connected to the computer by usb cable here's my usb cable which is connected to my pc okay and the pins i'm using is pin number 2 pin number 7 8 and 12 okay and these pins are connected to the uh, base terminal of my transistor okay and transistor I'm using is NPN transistor okay and collector of each transistor is connected to the external 5 volt okay so here's the external 5 volt okay and emitter of the each transistor is connected to the relay coil okay. here's my relay is one end of relay coil and other end of relay coil is connected to the zero volt okay of also of external supply that's it now here's my vfd now vfd has five terminals m0 m1 m2 m3 ground and three terminals for motor and two terminal for the live neutral to turn on the vfd okay and my motor is connected to the vfd okay so but these terminals are to be connected with my relays okay so my first relay which is ultimately connected to the pin number 2 of my arduino board it's no okay it's no is connected to the m0 okay here's the no terminal here's the nc terminal i'm not using nc terminal i'm using only no terminal okay and my second relay which is connected to the pin number 7 of my arduino board it's no terminal is connected to the m1 similarly for third relay it's no uh, terminal is connected to the M2 and for last relay its NO terminal is connected to the M3 okay and common of each relay is connected to the ground so that's it is my wiring diagram okay now let's understand its programming now let's understand the programming section just open your block diagram here's my block diagram now in my block diagram first of all I have initialized my Arduino and declared my com port okay and further I have declared my pins which are connected to the base terminal of my transistors okay pin number 2 7 8 and 12 okay now here my pin number 2 and pin number 7 I have used to turn on off and to change the direction of the motor okay and pin number 8 and 12 I have used to run the motor at different speed that I'll tell you later okay so here comes the button to turn on and off the motor okay now its output I have connected to the switch statement which has two conditions false and true okay now suppose if my button is false which means my button is at off state okay now you here you can see I have write the value of 2 and 7 0 okay now here you can also see the indication feedback that, that I have written motor off motor off all right now if I come to the true state now suppose my motor is uh, button is turned on okay now it will come to the true state so here you will find two case two switch case okay now one is for the direction and second case is for the different speed okay so by this button you will control your speed that I'll tell you later now first of all let co let's come to the direction okay now if you press this button if you press this button then you'll find two case also false and true in false you'll find the direction reverse okay here you can see I have write the value of pin number 7 1 and pin number 2 0 okay if I press the button then it it will come to the true state true state now here you'll find the value of pin number 2 1 and 7 0 and also its feedback forward okay now here here we come at different speed statement okay switch statement which is, a, which is for different speed okay now here's the controlling action of your switch case okay uh, that I have made some logic that you may find in my previous tutorials now in zero case you can see here I have depict uh, I have shown you the normal speed okay because I have write the value of 8 and 12 0 okay and when it comes to 1 
then you can see I have write the value 8 1 and 12 0 which will show you the speed 1 okay that is uh, that is to be set by your VFD these are the some internal parameters which can you can set your frequency okay now in last case here you can see I have turned off the pin number 8 which means I have write its value 0 and turn on the pin 12 which means I have write its value 1 then it will show you the second speed okay in your feedback so that's all about programming now let's see the demonstration now I have connected my VFD the frequency is at 50 Hertz now let me connect my Arduino board okay I have connected my Arduino board now search for your COM port COM3 now just hit run button okay now to turn on the motor just click this on button here you can see your motor will start rotating speed normal and direction reverse now to change the direction just click this button okay now in feedback here you can see the direction is forward now here you, you will see your motor will start rotating in forward direction all right okay now suppose if you want to change the speed which means you have to vary the frequency but uh, but here you can also change the frequency by just rotating this potentiometer okay now suppose if you press this button then you'll see your indication speed 1 which means your frequency will jump to the 10 Hertz which is internally fixed by your VFD there are some parameters of VFD that you have to write on your VFD okay now if you again press this button then your frequency will jump to 20 Hertz which will increase the speed okay now if you again press this button then your motor will start rotating at your normal speed okay which was your current speed okay that's it now, and here you can change the direction of your motor alright and now you want to turn off the motor just click this red button to turn off your motor alright now let me okay here you can see the feedback motor off now you'll see your motor is turned off okay so that's enough thank you for watching the video